It's demo time for parents at the Hennigan School in Boston. He will ask you a fraction problem. If you get it wrong, you will become mentally deformed. After months of work, the fifth grade students are showing off the computer games they created. Even the principal is here to take a try. The children are using the programming language logo, invented by this man, Seymour Papert. As part of a bold MIT Media Lab experiment known as Project Headlight, Papert his research team and the Hennigan teachers are developing methods to put inner city children in charge of their own learning. Instead of using purchase software like most schools, Project Headlight challenges the students to use Logo to create their own software. How did you decide what to put in your messages when you get it right? Well, they had basically all the same. I don't know. I just thought it would be encouraged them to say what's right and what's wrong. What do you say when they're wrong? That's wrong, right? You need to In the design process, they become expert programmers. They draw, manipulate shapes, even guide a skier down the slope. And like all the students, this one is built in a surprise. When the skier hits a ball spot, a fraction quiz. No run-of-the-mill video games, these are designed to teach mathematics. Abigail has chosen to design her fraction game around the Greek myths. You want to go to the home of Zeus, but the map was ripped up by the Greek god Hades. All the Greek gods and goddesses have a fraction in the map. You are to go to the gods and goddesses one at a time. Her toughest challenge involves allowing the user to choose an answer from the quiz. She's had to learn the hows and whys of the ifs and thens. The hardest thing about this is making um, the program for what your answer is to the fraction problem. Like, if you push A, then you do this, and then if you push B, then this happens, and C, then this other thing happens. So it's really hard. The fact that a nine-year-old is learning such sophisticated programming concepts is a testament to Project Headlight's success. And for Abigail, the command of the computer allows her to devote her attention to what she really enjoys. Designing a Nintendo-style interface and creating a compelling story around the gods. Ginny has designed her fraction game around a spider web. Like her classmates, she's learned advanced programming. She's also learned the advantage of producing her own game. Because you make your own game and you can play it anytime you want. But in Nintendo, this right here, you don't have to buy it because you're the one who's making it. With Nintendo as a model, she's even designed her own game box. Like, at first I didn't know how to design a web. And so the art teacher helped me and I designed it. In fact, as part of the project, all of the children package their games and promote them with an ad campaign. These integral activities make this project unlike any textbook exercise. The students here are designing a real product from start to finish. And through the process, they learn about every advertising medium. They even produce TV commercials. If you play this game, play it good, you may grow up to be like Ronald, like Ronald Reagan. Wow. Russian Town is awesome. It's spooky, it's scary, and it's exciting. And it's by TCA. Awesome. Despite his TV commercial, it's a tough sell for Andrew's Haunted House Fraction game. Today, a new bug has appeared. No matter what he does, his game won't run. His mother watches nearby. As he was showing me his uh, fraction game, he uh, encountered a problem, and he thought for a minute that he had crashed his game, which I think means that he had destroyed it and that it would, would, would be lost. And he went through a whole series of complex um, maneuvers on the computer to correct the problem, and he was very frustrated in doing it. At one point, I thought he was about to, to, go, to cry, um, but he continued to work on it, and he solved the problem. 
These aren't simple games. They're filled with pages and pages of sophisticated programming code. But after months of working with Logo, the students become expert debuggers. Here, a missing command is all that's needed to get the game running. And then, it, this is a picture of the front of the house. If you walk up to the house, you see a chest in the staircase. You can A, look and see what's in the chest, or B, go up the stairs. Andrew and his classmates have worked hard to make the games look great. At the same time, they've been learning and teaching mathematics through the fraction quiz. I'm a demon from the underworld, and I'm going to take you with me if you don't answer this question. What is four eighths reduced to those terms? Is it A, two fourths, B, one half, or C, three tenths? You're right. Uh, then you blow some. It's fun to see like all like my work is paid off and that it really looks great and that I get a lot of compliments from a lot of people. And, this latest project has been another success. Like other headlight efforts, it has helped reinvigorate teachers. And then eventually you are going to come to that procedure that doesn't work. And then we'll be able to debug it. All right? Brought parents into the classroom and allowed children to use their imagination. For our inner city schools, Project Headlight gives okay, teachers, parents, and researchers something to cheer about. Am I right? Yay! Yeah. I'm more interested in the process, and I think that's where the real learning takes place. I mean, where students think and rethink their ideas because every day they work on it, every day they think about fractions, they think about what kind of questions to ask. I tend to see that the children who have used Logo uh, seem to, um, as far as ideas and thoughts and as far as their creativity, there seems to be more of, of that when they come into the classroom, more expressing of their ideas and having different ideas. This is something that nobody can take away from them. Nobody can take this Logo from them. They, it's a program of their own. And I think for kids today, it's very important that they have something that they can call their own because of what's happening out here.